There's a famous Hippocrates quote. It goes, let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. Now, modern physicians are taking a note from the ancient Greek. And before there were medicines, um, all we had was the wisdom of our elders as well as the food of our elders. Dr. Robert Graham is one clinician taking that quote to heart. He's taught hundreds of healthcare workers how to make healthy plant-based meals. Graham thinks that if patients see doctors eating well, they'll eat healthy too. You know, the pharmaceutical approach, the medical approach really hasn't gotten us too far in terms of health and wellness. Because if it has, we wouldn't be having these diseases of, of you know, chronic diseases of diabetes, hypertension, high cholesterol, heart disease, arthritis, and, and to a certain de degree cancer. The trend of thinking of food as medicine is catching on around the country. Some grocery stores have on-site dietitians to help shoppers pick healthy foods. Take Hy-Vee, for example. It has more than 200 dietitians working at the company's 245 stores. In some rural areas, the dietitians cover several locations. And some hospitals have Shop with a Dog programs. And Amy Sass Kustak of Michigan State University even started a program in Flint where doctors gave pediatric patients $15 prescriptions to buy produce at a nearby farmer's market. It is a prescription, looks just like a script um, for fresh fruits and vegetables. Sachs Kustak is one of the presenters at Nutrition 2018. It's the inaugural meeting of the American Society for Nutrition. Researchers and doctors at the Boston Conference will present 2,000 studies, many of them about the healing or preventative powers in our meals. Among the findings, eggs may reduce diabetes risk factors. Low fat or fermented dairy may lower the risk of colorectal cancer. Edible mushrooms may fight inflammation and coffee could be good for your liver. The doctors that Newsy spoke with say that they all still prescribe medication to their patients because food alone can't replace all the benefits of things like immunizations and antibiotics. But they think a smart diet could help help address chronic health issues like heart disease in some cases without the need for extra drugs. If nothing else, it can be cheaper. Recent numbers show Americans spent on average about 1200 bucks annually on prescription drugs. Food for thought, for sure.